Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about something very, very, very important and very interesting. It's called the coronary artery calcium score. Okay. First of all, what is the coronary artery? Well, it's the main artery that supplies blood flow to the heart muscle. So when you have a heart attack, it's really that artery that becomes obstructed, that starves off oxygen and blood flow to the heart muscle and it cramps and you get a heart attack and you die. Um, and since heart attacks are the number one leading cause of death worldwide, it might be a good idea to know more about this test so you can predict if you're going to have a problem. Uh, so if we reverse engineer a heart attack, um, we take it one step back, we're going to get a cramp, okay? The cramp of the heart. Why? Because the artery is not free flowing. There's something obstructing it. Um, there's placking. There could be a clot uh, composed of cholesterol, calcium, and a certain type of protein called fibrin and a couple other things, okay? So it's all just coming in there. But everyone's so hyper-focused on cholesterol, they're trying to reduce cholesterol, thinking this is what's causing this. No, this is the effect of something earlier. So they put you on a statin drug and start shutting down all the body's ability to produce cholesterol, and then we create all sorts of other problems. So the combination between this and this is really a Band-Aid coming in to heal um, a lesion or a damage the wall of the arteries. So you have inflammation because there's damage on the inside lining of the vessel, okay? And the reason why there's damage is because there's high levels of insulin behind that. So high insulin is the culprit. I have tons and tons of videos on this. I'll put a link down below to learn more about this. But um, if, you're, if you have um, heart problems, okay, if you want to prevent heart problems and you want to take certain vitamins and this and that, well, you also better handle this because if this is not handled, nothing's going to work. This is at the root, the bottom level cause of this chain reaction that occurs that eventually gives someone a heart attack. So the coronary artery calcium test is a direct measurement of the amount of damage in the coronary artery. Okay, So it gives you insights of the person's past lifestyle, of what they've been eating, what they've been doing. It predicts things. A high score can occur with normal cholesterol. Okay? Um, the test is like $100. It takes two seconds to do, and you definitely need to get it done. You can have normal cholesterol, normal triglycerides, normal LDL, um, normal blood sugars, and still have a lot of calcium in the arteries. And 50% of the time, a person will die of a heart attack without any symptoms at all. So you don't want to just be surprised. So the emphasis should not be on the cholesterol. It should be on the calcium as the most important predictor of heart attacks. So then the question is, why aren't more medical doctors uh, recommending this test? Well, there's several viewpoints. One viewpoint is, why even do the test when we don't even know what to do about it to actually correct it? So I'm like, well, that's because you're using medical care to correct it because you can't correct this with a drug. You can't correct this with uh, vegetable oils like from soy and corn. You can't correct this with healthy grains, okay? Now, if you have a score of 1,000, that means your risk from uh, getting a heart attack is 10x, okay? That's pretty high. If your score is zero, your risk is extremely low. Chances are you are not gonna die of a heart attack. You might die of getting hit by a bus, but not getting a heart attack. If your score is 1 to 80, you should be concerned. If your score is 81 to 400, it's a pretty serious situation and you better start changing your lifestyle. If your score is greater than 400, it, you better make sure you have your will completely written out and you better start studying how to lower this really fast. But you can reverse it. You can slow it down, stop it, and reverse it, okay, and improve it greatly. What's also interesting is that this test can also predict risk from all deaths, not just heart attacks, from cancer, from lung disease, from kidney disease. So the next time you see your doctor, definitely request this test to see where your baseline is. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, press subscribe and I will definitely keep you updated.